Justin Broughton here. And just look at this wonderful little shop with loads of stuff that you don't see anymore, except in supermarkets, but they don't look, they're not presented like this, are they? This has got the proper spirit and ambiance of a shop from the 70s or the 80s. Just wonderful, you know. You're camping or caravanning. You don't need anything else from this, do you? Bring your custom to Broughton, the lovely grocer's shop. That just takes you back a few years, doesn't it? This is how it ought to be, some of these blinking supermarkets. You know. Fresh tomatoes, fresh mushrooms, fresh parsley. Little elaborate displays of mixed wild mushrooms. Places like this have got spirit. There's a few frozen things as well. They've got some veggie stuff as well. I bought some burgers the other day, you know, and the carties. Milk and dairy. Marge. few household bits and bobs, pet food, jams, and artisan gins. They just ease your tented slumbers, don't they, things like this. Yeah, so if you set up camp somewhere local, you don't have to drive to Barrow, Alverston or Millen. This shop has pretty much got the lot almost everything you want. Grogs and pop. Wonderful. Proper spirit. <laughs> Presence. <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> oh it's got yes it's got it's got this is for lady owner. Oh I should have asked are you okay I'll I'll yeah, wipe it. Fine. Yeah yeah okay, no this is for lady owner. There's spirits down the back. I should have asked before panning round, I do apologise. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. And cut it if you like, it's no problem. Yeah. Pickles as well. Ah, oh, some artifacts on the top shelf as well, look. Jars and weighing scales. <laughs> Marvellous. Oh really? Some more stuff. Oh look at that. Proper set of weighing scales. Well, Next time I buy some tomatoes, I shall want them weighed on that. <laughs> yeah. In in metric. <laughs> in grains of sand. In grains of sand, yes. Or salt. Absolutely. Salt. Yes, earning your salt. Earning your salt. Yeah, good. yeah. And indeed the word salary. Absolutely. Yes, we know our stuff, don't we? We do. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's just magic. I was just saying to the camera, anyone camping, anyone camping or caravanning, they don't need to go to Blinking the Limo Tesco, but come here because it's, right. you've got it covered. Well, thank you ever so much. I'll just okay. do a little bit on the outside display. Yeah. Because there's often parked cars here, you could drive by and not even notice this. This wonderful display. We've been getting peaches and bananas and beetroot. And lettuce. You know, isn't this a feast for your eyes? Just a proper shop. Isn't it wonderful? And it's part of the butchers as well. That grocery shop. So it's got everything. Everything you could want on a camping trip. Marvellous. Simply marvellous. Broughton 
there's currently two filling stations in operation. One does MOTs and the other one's more of a petrol station and little snack shop and things. And then I was just talking to a lady in the grocer shop and she said, oh, there's this old petrol pump just round the corner. And here it is. So there were, uh, and indeed, she said there was another petrol station at the top of the square. So at one point they were blinking four ha, in Broughton. How marvellous. Yeah, it's a bit reminiscent of those ones n near Reef. Although this is a big, tall one. That must have had a header tank up there. You know, so instead of it being pumped, it was hand pumped into the header tank at the top and, uh, you know, gravity fed into the vehicle. I'm just surmising, of course, because I've never seen one as tall as that. It's like a pillar box. Marvellous. So behind me here is the bridle way from Foxfield. And of course, this used to be the old railway line, the Coniston branch which used to branch off the main line, that Foxfield, come through Broughton, and you see this structure here. This is very redolent of railway architecture, isn't it? And I don't know for sure, because that doesn't say on it, but if I look at the old map at home, I bet it'll say old station. You know, it just looks off that ilk, doesn't it? And the railway used to come along this very bit of road that we're cycling along now, past the auction mark, which was probably might have been engine sheds or sidings perhaps back in the time, I don't know. Yeah, I've enjoyed my little uh, foray round Broughton, the grocer shop. Oh, whilst I was at the grocer shop, I meant to say just down the street from the grocer shop there's a lovely little bakery where they do cheese and onion pies, vegetable pasties, and we sat in there there's the garage, one of the garages that's still operating. And here we are, the, the line, as it were, the railway line, the old railway line. Yeah, and the bakery, you know. Ah, oh, they wonderful. You know, they make fly pie, <laughs> shortbread, millionaire's shortbread. I call it hat maker's shortbread. Millionaire's shortbread. That's my twist on it. What else do they have? Yeah, vegetable pasties, cheese and onion pie. You've already said that. I've already said that, said Puppet. I'm just reviewing the menu just in case someone missed it on the first scan. What else? Oh, there's a poo poo, watch it. Oh. it. And another chunk. Yep. Yeah, watch out for doggy doos. You don't want that flying around, around your wheel, do you? And getting splattered all up your legs. It can ruin your day. <sighs> yeah, it's got no pooing signs there. Can pick it up, I think. Yeah, so this track bed, single track, but it goes through some absolutely marvellous cuttings. <sighs> Rock cut cuttings. I'll show you that in a minute. I'll just, yeah. Now look at this uh, rock cutting. You know, this is hard mining. Just coming by. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, very steep-sided rock cut cutting. That would have taken some work to blast through when they were driving the rail line. Been cool because it's boiling hot in the sun. It's sort of uh, Perpignan temperature, I reckon, when you're getting the full heat of the sun. So if you're getting a nice shady tree tunnel like this, it's just wonderful. Now we're coming up to a bridge, spanning the cutting, if you like. And again, I imagine it was probably just as a cattle pass and 
stock pass overhead. So the field, which has been bisected by the railway line, will still be accessed overhead by the farmer or the shepherd or whatever. That's a little lake, Broughton Manor, Broughton Tower. Woodland fells, blow if not. Yeah, we've just uh, been down to Broughton for our shopping to get some provisions and victuals. And whilst there we had a lunch, so that saves us making a pack up today because we've already had it. Tom Tom is full. Vegetable pasty. Salad. And a nice mocha just to boost the blood sugar levels. you enjoy your lunch, Poppet? Yes, she says. Ha <laughs> ha! said vegetable pasta three times now. You've just said it the fourth time. <laughs> well, I tell you what, she says that, but vegetable pasties are a rare thing. Still a rare thing. So you have to be jubilant when you find the blinking things. Because otherwise, as often as not, for vegetarians it's, oh, it's for beans on toast again, you know. Well, what a culinary experience that is. Now, when you get something properly made vegetable, bespoke as it were, it's a treat. That's it, carnivores don't realise, they don't appreciate these things. <laughs> Cycling along here you just get little windows of views across to the Great Burnie and that curvy bond. If only it was like this all the way to Coniston. Imagine that, what a trail that would be. Here's an underpass, again where the traffic between fields can go under the bridge in that instance, under the railway. One side, oh. section now unfortunately. And just here is where the bridal way intersects private farmland so further transit is not permitted and there's little there's this little cut down here which takes us back down to the road. which is rideable, as I'm demonstrating now. And in fact, I think on Tuesday when we came to Broughton, I rode up it, but it didn't need max, max e-power or max. Max. Oh, cut grid. 
Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I didn't need maximum power to help with some of these on the way up because it is a bit steep. Max Red Bull, that's what I, <laughs> what I was looking for. You needed to hit the Max Red Bull button to get up. Tarmac. Oh. So yes, what a shame that that bridleway doesn't continue pretty much on the level as railways normally do all the way. Wouldn't that be something sweet? Oh. I'll just close the gate after pop it when she comes down. Hear a brake squeaking there. You can see public bridleway, Broughton, one mile. Here she comes, good on her. She's riding down. <laughs> good on you. The gate awaits you, madam. I'll close it. Thank you. Oop. Oop, careful. Oh, watch your mirror. <laughs> This girl does everything to wreck about. No, wait, 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 you're stuck on your pannier. <laughs> you like, sorry. Right. <laughs> She's reckless. <sighs> Here we are on the road. That was lovely cool. Lovely and cool under those trees, wasn't it? Now we'll bake, like I say, this is a Perpignan summer. Or what was that? What was that port on the south coast of France? Kalua. Yes, it's Kalua. Kalua like skies and temperatures. <sighs> Holy moly! I'm hot. Now somewhere here, just a little further up, was a railway feature called Five Arches, where the railway went over a mini viaduct. Let's say it was like a little mini ribble head viaduct across the road here and on. I have to up the old Red Bull levels because this is steep. Now you see this bridge abutment just up here? That's where the five archers used to take, take flight from if you like and then march across the woodland as it were. Just there. See the square structure? I've got to stop recording now.